Okay, this is Bakari again with Mac Photography Tips, and um, this is the second part of a um, screencast on comparing, you know, apertures, um, Aperture 2.0 and iPhoto 08. And in the first uh, screencast, I did kind of a overview about why you should, you know, if you shoot a lot of pictures and you do process them, why it would probably be, be best for you to move from iPhoto to aperture because it can you can do a lot more and it save you a lot more time. Um, in this particular screencast, what I want to do is kind of focus in a little bit uh, more on the editing uh, features of both programs and, and show you um, some of the differences here. Um, and what I did, I made a screenshot of the um, editing HUD in iPhoto, and then this right here is the actual. Um, uh, editing HUD in Aperture 2.0. Now both programs, if you don't already know, both programs will process raw photos. Even um, iPhoto 08 will process raw photos. Both of them have non-destructive editing. Um, I didn't realize that you could process raw photos in, I, in, I, in iPhoto, but you can. Um, the Both of them also, as you can see, they share some similarities in terms of um, in, in terms of you know editing features both of them have um, you know exposure uh, exposure controls uh, uh, and both of them have definition controls um, shadow and highlight controls temperature controls so they, they both have that and, and actually iPhoto has come a long way in terms of its editing. Both of them also have a histogram that you can see that and you know and, and also a levels. Levels is is here for iPhoto whereas levels and, and, I, uh, and aperture is down here uh, but many of those features are, are the same. But there's some big differences though in Aperture 2.0. If you are shooting with RAW in RAW, you can actually recover uh, a lot more detail in your in your shadows and your highlights than you can here in iPhoto. You you really don't have that the recovery sliders that you have um, in iPhoto. In, in I mean I'm sorry in Aperture, you don't have the recovery sliders there, and uh, that's a big difference. Also, if you wanted to tweak um, certain colors. Um, you can't do that here in iPhoto, so you can do that. And also, the sharpening controls are a little bit better, I think, in, in Aperture 2.0 as well. So those are just some of the, like you know, real basic differences without getting real too technical about other things that uh, it, it involves. But you do have that. You also you can, as I think I pointed out in the first screencast, you can copy um, settings that you make to one photo in iPhoto and paste them to just one other uh, photo. So you can paste that one time. Here in Aperture 2.0, you can copy settings and apply them to one or more photos. And you also can save individual settings for these different um, what's called bricks inside of uh, the inspector. So you can save presets. I have presets set for um, dealing with outdoor shade or indoor dark or outdoor too bright. The, I have some settings set and, and once you kind of set these settings you can save them and manage them. Now I, I have to admit that these presets won't solve a lot of problems for your you know correcting exposure but they're there for you they're there for you and it's something that you won't find in iPhoto. One other thing that you will notice in um, iPhoto is that you have this thing they call the effects which are nothing more than pretty much canned presets that you can apply and these these are great particularly color boost and a little bit of black and white is, is, is pretty good um, but they they just don't offer the controls that you'll find in Aperture um, 2.0 so th those are some of the big differences that you have um, there and it's, and it's another reason why you should go to 2.0 um, aperture if you are doing uh, shooting a lot of photos and processing them.